Hello everybody, oh, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf and today I'm gonna to be playing some VGC Regulation E on the VGC Regulation E Ranked Ladder. And today I'm gonna to be using a team made by Joker. I've linked Joker's stream in the description down below, so please make sure to check him out because Joker did get rank one with this team on the Ranked Ladder and is holding rank one with this team on the Ranked Ladder. I am very excited to be using it. I am a huge Milotic fan. The last team I used, the team that I built myself, also did have a Milotic on it. Slightly different set, so I'm really excited to see how Haze plays. I think Haze is one of the biggest changes. I had Recover, Joker has Haze. I think Haze is really exciting, so I'm really excited to see how Haze plays, and I'm honestly just kind of excited to get into, we got Double Grassy Glide, we got Chien Pao Dragonite, we got Speed Boosting Flutter with the Icy Wind, and then we also have Milotic. Really excited to get into these games, and once again, please make sure to check Joker out. I would really, really appreciate it. And let's just see how it goes. Let's jump in some games. Game one of today. Okay, they also probably have the Double Grassy Glide. They have Double Grassy Glide, as well as the Landris for Intimidate. Looking at this team, you know, I'm honestly really not sure what kind of Urshifu that is. I feel like if you- so if you if you do have the Water Ursh, you do have the lovely Fire Water Grass Core, but weirdly, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just really feel like that could be Dark Urshifu, but we'll have to see once we get into it. And the Iron Hands to round it out. Okay. So what am I thinking? Um... Honestly, I think... I think I can maybe do this. I could go my own double grassy glide in the back as well. I like my own double grassy glide. I really do like... I really do like the flutter here, but I'm worried about their double grassy glide because my flutter will drop to a double glide. I'm gonna go double glide. This could be very incorrect. I think a real case could be made for flutter. I'm a little bit too nervous to bring the Milotic here. We do see the Intimidate in the Landris on their team, which Milotic absolutely loves to see. However, they do have two grass types as well as an Iron Hand, so Milotic's not feeling super safe here. I go hands flutter, okay. I want to tear up both of my Mons, which is the very awkward thing here. Let me see what I have in the back. Okay, so Double Glide... Double Glide will, in fact, clean up that... Flutter Main, unless it's Flutter Steel or... F Sorry, unless it's Flutter Steel. Unless it's Terra Steel or Terra Fire, however, I haven't seen that in a minute. I have not seen that in a minute. I don't love the Terra immediately, but I do want to protect here. And okay, they're gonna Terra. So it should be Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy, okay, that still drops to two glides. That still does drop to two glides here. I get to keep my sash intact as well. I really, oh, I really wish I had read it. I really wish I had read it. I, so the thing is, depending on the flutter spread, sometimes um, Aqua Jet plus Sucker Punch will KO if they Terra Fairy, but it will not always KO. It will not always KO, which is one of the reasons that I am going for this. Let's see, do they hit the fake out? They do hit the fake out, okay. So this, this could definitely, this is not worst case scenario in my opinion. We're, this should do a, a, about 50%, 50 to 60% I think, maybe? Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was about spot on. Yep, cool. And Dazzle, okay. We live those, buddy, big guy, Dragonite, no longer weak to this, we live those. Devoured! Absolutely devoured. Okay. 
They do not have a ghost type to swap in here. Um, I, I really don't want hands to start getting health back, so I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna crash into the flutter. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can pretty safely just crash into the flutter. And again, we have double glide in the back, so that's, that's feeling pretty solid into this right now. Okay, Flutter Protects, that's fine, I get to take your hands, unless, like, I don't think that's some crazy rule. Like, I think we always take your hands here. Well, we always take your hands here. That's huge. That is massive. Like, I went for Terra, I went for Terra Normal, so we're weak to fighting. Um, Chiam Pao, simply four times weak to fighting, and then two Mons in the back that don't resist fighting damage. So honestly, cleaning, cleaning hands off the board, Sash intact, is feeling very good. Landorus, okay. Okay. I can protect my Chiam Pao again if I want. I wonder if this KOs. Because I can sucker. Like, I can do this. But I do kind of like either protecting or crashing as well. I think I just want to get as much damage as I can. Ah, does that- does that KO the Landorus, though? Does that KO the Landorus? Either will be in range of Glide, I think, if, if I do this. If this cleans the Landorus, I'm feeling very confident. It cleans the Landorus, I'm feeling very confident. Okay, that's great. Now we get more damage off. And we know... Wait, were they... We hit? Love that for me. Love that for me. Oof. Yep, that's in range. And we get a flinch! We hit and we get the flinch! Chieb, out here! Yo, we're cleaning! There she comes in. Okay, what kind of Ursh? It is the water. Okay, fire, water, grass, core. Makes sense. I wonder if this- I am very curious if minus one sucker from here KOs. Oh, we're also faster. Wait, there's absolutely no reason to do that. We are also faster. So I think I can happily crunch here. So we just have like double glide in the back. Okay, protect that. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. We get our E speed off. I do not believe this KOs. But let's see. Yeah, okay. So I could have doubled there and I probably should have, but we just have glide. We have just like double glide in the back. And there's no way for Urshi to pick up both KOs here. So we're into that. Yep. Okay, so pick up the Dragonite. We just bring in our AV Rillaboom here. So I definitely could have doubled into the Ursh. I just wasn't sure if they would wanted to protect their Ursh there. Okay, let's see. Yep. We bring in Rillaboom. This will also set up the terrain for our Ogre Pond in the back. And this just feels like a pretty, pretty solid end game here. I think I just glide and crunch always, right? Like, there should just be no out for my opponent. Okay, they jet. Fair enough. A little bit of damage. And we glide. Boom! Pick up that KO, and then crunch picks up this KO. Yeah, I don't think there was, like... I think this is an endgame where, short of attacking myself, it was gonna be hard for me to lose here. I'm gonna get the crunch. Yep. Yeah, this one, this one just really worked out. This one, like, the- especially- so I think this game could have been different. Like, the turn where they protected their Flutter, and I just got the KO on their Iron Hands, like, I think that was really the turning point. Taking- in- in this matchup, taking their Iron Hands like that is tr like, <laughs> I- and I don't say this lightly, is truly sensational for me. So we kind of just got to go in- we kind of just got to go in with, uh, Dragonite Pow. Which is always, which is always fun. Which is always definitely a little fun. But very quick theme. Let's grab a uh, game two. 
Okay, game two. I'm getting a Parish vibe. I see the Politoed. Like, 2015 Parish? Am I, hopefully I'm not mixing up my years, but I'm pretty sure 2015 Parish, Politoed was a staple. So we got Politoed, we got, oh my gosh, okay, okay. Yeah, this team could very well be a pain. We got double ghost type and I, I don't rely heavily on switching when I play this team, so I'm not as worried about the goth. And I do have my own mostly ghostly type, and I can even Terra Vismon to be a mostly ghostly type if I want to as well to be able to swap out. Once again, I kind of do want to bring my Lodic. I kind of do want to bring my Lodic here, but the Matcha Gacha, I just like, I'm just staring down the Matcha Gacha and the Iron Hands. I probably shouldn't bring in the back double weakness to... I do want Flutter though, I think. Mm, I'm kind of timing out. I don't know about this. I got it in with, I'm not trying to brag, but with 0, 0.00 seconds to spare. This is a matchup I truly just don't... I just don't really know at all, and I am a famed bad at playing against Parish player. Um, so, and I like this screams Parish. This is hollering Parish at me. Absolutely hollering. Ooh. Okay, that's hands and flutter. Okay, I see you. Okay, I think I go Terra Ghost here. Are they just gonna perish right away? Oh, no, no, less. Let me do this. I should maybe sucker. I should maybe sucker, and I'm I might be overthinking this, but Honestly, that could also be a trick room setter. Like, I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, they don't Terra. So if we hit, this is 100% a KO. Okay, boom. Okay, nice. Okay, we wiped the Flutter. We wiped the Flutter off the board. I like that for me. I had didn't have to use my Terra, but it just felt safer there. Let's see. Oh, you Volt Switch. Interesting. Okay. Respect. Like, but if you're trying to pivot your Fake Out, that's not going to do anything, because the Dragonite is in her focus, so we won't get flinched, and Champ Pao is now a Ghost-type, so we won't get flinched. So, I feel okay about that, ultimately. Locked into Aqua Jet. Feels awkward here. Toad. Okay, at least they're powering up my Aqua Jet. <laughs> at the very least. This is powering up my Aqua Jet. And do they have a Parish Singer now? I don't think they have a Singer. They have a Trapper? Okay, there's Iron Hands. Okay. No Terra. Okay, I think I hard swap in Rillaboom here, though. Politoed can perish, right? I'm pretty sure Politoed can perish. I'm pretty sure Politoed can perish, sorry. I, Right? Right? But I think I swap in Rillaboom. Um, this feels like a reasonably safe swap here. Giving them healing doesn't feel great for me. Okay, we do hit the crash. Very nice, how much are we doing? Okay, it's not crazy damage, but it's nice. Weather ball hitting. We're alive. It's not good, but we're alive. We get a flinch. Huge. Iron. See, this is this is the big thing with um. This is the big thing with 
Icicle Crash, right? You have the mischance? Have I, have I lost games literally because I've missed that move? Yes. But then you also have the spicy flinch chance. I just can't decide which one's worth it. Double into the toad. Okay. We, we, they do reveal their last mon, which is great for me. Which is the Gothitelle. Okay, interesting. So I think we should be seeing... Oh, protect. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna double into... They fake out here, but I'm gonna double into that slot again, I think. Okay. I wish I doubled into the Iron Hand slot. I feel like that, that turn could have been a real turning point. We do get some healing. I'm gonna one hammer here. They still do have their Terra, which is what is worrying me. And so we, we're gonna see we're gonna see Polytoad Terra. We're actually gonna see Gothitelle Terra. Okay, fair enough. Terra normal. Look, I've, I've played a lot of ranked matches in Scarlet and Violet, and I'm not sure I have seen a Terra normal. I am legitimately not sure I've seen Terra normal yet. Okay, they get a little bit of damage, nothing crazy. That means Politoed is going to be continue to be weak to my two Pokemon here that I have. We flinch, yep. So we do confirm we are faster than the Politoed. I think Politoed wants to protect again, honestly. I'm gonna double into this Gothitelle. With a Glide and a Woodhammer. Oh wait, I still have my Dragonite? Oh, that's kind of spicy. Okay, but no, I'm gonna bring an Ogre Pond. I think I always should bring an Ogre Pond here, and I'm gonna double into the Goth. Let me see how much rain is left. I just don't really want them to get Trick Room up. Grassy Train, only two more turns, but rain only one more turn. Okay. So does the Goth protect here? Let's see. Let's see if the Goth goes for Protect. I think they very well could. And maybe I should have gone for the Toad here. Okay, nice. Okay, I still maybe should have gone for the Toad. Because now they do get their Fake Out back. Okay, no Protect from the Goth. We get, we're gonna get some really decent damage here. Come on, Rillaboom. Boom! Nice. Huge. Huge turn. Huge turn. Huge turn. Could have backfired very easily, but very big turn. They do a fake out now, but I can swap if I want to, which I do want to. No more rain. They bring rain back in. We've seen the fake out and we've seen the volt switch from the Iron Hands, so I don't believe this Iron Hands is going to have something like... I don't believe Iron Hands is going to have something like... Swords Dance? Do you protect your toad? Do you protect your toad here? No, you go help a hand. Okay. That's okay, I think. I do believe I have stomping on my boot. Okay, so that's it. That's probably toad down. Okay, I do have stomping on my Ooh, Rocky Helmet Toad! 
I like what you're cooking! I like what you're cooking. Okay, so I get also a glide off here for not that much damage, but definitely a little bit of damage. Drain punch. We're still alive. Huge. Okay, so here I do think I spike it. I think there's no reason to not spiky shield. So I want to reset my terrain for the power. I know that it also lends Iron Hands... I know that it also lets Iron Hands get healing back, but I think that's okay. Because I just spiky shield here, I think. I bring in my Dragonite. I could also maybe click Outrage. Outrage is kind of fun. Fun, spicy content. I'm trying to decide if clicking Outrage here is a throw. I don't believe my opponent should have a great way back into this, but I definitely am not trying to absolutely throw this game into the garbage. Because Iron Hands is scary. Okay, you wild charge. That's a nice wild charge from them. Um, however, they are doing damage to themselves through that. So I think it's okay. We also do have the stomping. I want... Yeah, let's just do double stomping here. Yeah, let's just do double stomping, I think. Should be fine. We got one stomping off. Boom! Oh! Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, because we crit. Okay, I was gonna say, but I still don't think, even with the crit, like, yes, it's, a, it's annoying for my opponent, certainly, but it's not gonna change the game in any way. You're not getting enough health back. Like, I also still have Rillaboom in the back with Fake Out on deck. Um, and I don't believe you have- you could have Protect, but does that mean you're running- No, no, we know you're not running Protect, because we've seen everything, right? I believe we saw everything. I believe we saw Fake- Did we not see Fake Out? I believe we saw Fake Out, Volt Switch, Wild Charge, and Drain Punch. So, there should not be Protect there. So, no matter what, I'm gonna be in a situation where I get Fake Out into- where I get fake out into attack, and then you have to eat another, like, wood hammer plus attack, you know? So, I don't think there was an out for my opponent there. Honestly, though, I'm kind of curious how they were planning to play that game, as someone who struggles to play both with Parish and against Parish. And maybe I'm- maybe I am reading too much into it, but I swear that team absolutely screamed Parish. So, I'm kind of curious how they wanted to play that. They didn't- yeah, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm just not really sure. I never felt like they were in a great position to go for the Parish. But we did clear the Flutter turn one, so that was that probably had something to do with it. But this is, sorry, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. I do um, have something that I have to do in like 15 minutes. And I'm not I, I don't want to cut it too close by jumping into another game because you just never know. You never know. Is it going to be a game that lasts five minutes? Is it going to be a game that lasts 20 minutes? You don't know. So I am going to call it there for today. Once again, massive shout out to Joker for sharing the team. Um, I have every uh, Joker stream linked in the description down below. So please make sure to check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. I really do. How many times can I say appreciate it? I need an appreciation jar. I need the appreciation jar. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, Please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If that was <laughs> I like even, I had to like work myself up to be able to say that, and then I couldn't even say it right. If you didn't, feel free to do exactly none of that, and I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing day. Okay. Bye!